Good day everyone. Today on the bench I'm going to tie you up my balloon head zonker. This uh, little fly that uh, has really worked well. It's basically came across, we've seen it originally uh, tied in England. A fellow called it the uh, booby zonker, tied it with booby eyes. I know David Burns up here at uh, Golden, just up the road from me there too. He ties the, uh, the fly with the booby eyes, calls it the uh, anaconda. It's been very, very successful for him and uh, many others of us that have fished it. So I'm just going to show you some of my materials and how I t tie this in just a different, little different method. I find it quite easy and it floats very well. Uh, so the hook I'm just going to use in a size 8. This is a Gamagatsu saltwater hook. Um, what I like about these hooks, they're, they're very strong, but they're light. And uh, so the weight is important. Uh, of course, when I'm using uh, proper foam, it doesn't matter as much. I used, like to use this larva lace foam. This is a heavy open uh, cell foam. I use that for a lot of my floating flies, uh, uh, gurglers and that type of thing. That's the foam I use, even uh, a lot of my stonefly dry flies I'll put that under. You can get it in different colors. The body I'm going to use for the tag, we're going to use some red ice stub. For the body you can use some uh, silver holographic ice stub. Uh, or you can also, another nice color is just a pearl ice stub. Just tone it down a little bit, you don't have to be quite so bright. And we need, of course, with the zonkers, we need rabbit zonker strips. So. We'll get our hook in the vise. I'm going to use some, this is a big fly th thread in white color. Very, very strong. I can lean on that a little bit. Or quite a little bit actually. So this is just a variation of a very good proven pattern. Just to, to try it with a little different technique. And uh, I'm going to get my bobbin straightened around here and wrap around the frame extra time. So I'll get my thread started on the hook. Dress the shank as we always do. When I come to about midpoint. I take a little piece of foam about three eighths of an inch. And we're just going to start it on the back here about midpoint. Come forward. I'm not wrapping too tight here. I don't want to jam that foam down too snug. I want to keep it very buoyant. I'm just going to come in here where I tied it in and just kind of taper it at that point. There, so I got a good, quite a large taper there. And go to the rear. I'll just grab some of my red ice stub. I'll pinch that on top. Gives it a little accent underneath the hide on that rabbit strip. And then we'll come in here with a rabbit zonker. And like that right there. And what I'm doing when I'm working with the rabbit zonkers all the time, I like to just use a little piece of foam in the, my little dish. I bought that at a uh, office supply store or something. That was for licking stamps many years ago before we had the stamps we're using today and I just moisten my fingers with that wet sponge and you can use whatever you like but just saves you licking on the rabbit. Don't know where that rabbit's been. Especially after COVID. <laughs> okay I'm tying it back over itself a little bit, keep it out of the way. I tie the cut the tail off but two times the length of the uh, shank of the hook. I'm throwing a half hitch. I'm going to dub this with my rotary vise, my nor vise. Uh, this will be a good time if you're using a standard vise. Just go to a dubbing loop because this is nasty stuff to dub. It's it's very metallic type product. This ice dub in the holographic silver, nice and bright. You get a loose dub on there. Don't want it too tight. And then and then when I slack off here, it's going to really get loose on me again. And that's okay, because some of it's going to come off. I can reuse that. I'm just going to get my dubbing to the back, make sure it's wound in there. 
Now when we get to the front here, I might need a little more. And you can turn it, get a little turn or two on. You can do it by hand if you want to. It just mashes it down a little more. And I like to keep the buggy nature. Mind you, I'm going to uh, pull it out a little bit too with my... So now when I got the body dubbed in nice and loose, I'm coming back about a quarter of the way back on the shank over the top over the top of my thread about a quarter of the way back that just sits right in that dubbing then I'll pull my zonker over top and tie it off right there alright so that gives you a nice little zonker strip it's coming in here with a balloon head this is pretty loose like a, I'm, not, I'm not pulling back tight I'm keeping it kind of loose because that the looser you keep foam, the more buoyant it is. And then I'll take two or three good turns with my heavy thread and pull it up, suck it down. And then uh, for the top here, I'll just trim my balloon head back a little bit. Then we come in here and just comb, comb our uh, dubbing back so it leads back a little bit in the water. I don't want it I like it to flow a little bit. And then important we get some head cement right on here, right, right run into the thread. That and that'll secure that nicely. So that's a balloon head uh, zonker. Very, very good uh, way to do it. Uh, it's a little easier in booby eyes if you don't have them and it works does the same job. And uh, so there it is. Hope you enjoy this one and uh, have a good success on the water as we have in the past. You can change up the colorations, whatever you like. White's a very, very good color. And uh, we'll see you again soon on Sports Fishing on the Fly on the Bench. Thanks for watching. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, Head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.